guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up your Etsy listings for your digital products using Canva. Okay, so we're just here on the homepage of Canva. We need to set our listing size to what Etsy is currently using on their home screen for all of the listings. So we're just gonna create a new design and we're gonna give it a custom size. And it's going to be this one. I used it recently because I've been creating my digital listings. But what we want to do is make sure this unit is set to pixels. It is probably in millimeters to start out with. Just come switch it to pixels. And then you're gonna type in 2500 by 2000. And that's it, you can create a new design. So now you have got the size right for your Etsy digital listing. Now before you just start throwing some random stuff on your design here, you might want to take a look at some Etsy listings. See what other designers are doing that sell the same type of product you're selling. Just for the purposes of demonstration in this video, I'm going to type in digital planner. Okay, so we can see um, that's a, a pretty good search. Currently, there's over 5,000 monthly searches for just digital planner. Okay, so let's click into that. Let's take a look at some of these. What we're looking for when we want to try to find what's gonna work best for us, what's gonna sell well, is this. We wanna look for these badges that say popular now, and even better yet, if we can find ones that say best seller. That's what you want to look at. You want to look at what they're doing, what types of um, graphics are on their listings, how much detail is on their listing. So I'm just going to kind of scroll through. This one also has a best seller. Okay. When you're doing research for yourself, please do not click on one that says ad by Etsy seller. They're, they get charged per click and if we're just looking at it just for research let's not charge them any ad money find one that is not an ad bestseller not an ad okay so go through find a few that you like I'm gonna come back up to this one here and um, this is a bestseller it is not an ad so I'm gonna go ahead and click into it and look a little bit more and see what all she's got going on okay um, 20 views in the last 48 hours. We've got some quick metrics coming up here. I can analyze this listing and I can see that this digital planner that she sells for $30 is giving her a monthly estimated revenue of $4,823. Anytime someone searches digital planner, this listing is coming up. It is 100% visibility score. Anytime someone puts in digital planner, this guy's gonna come up. I wanna do what she's doing, right? By the way, um, all this information that I'm getting here, guys, I'm getting from Everbee. It is a browser extension. I will talk a little bit more about it later on and I will show you where to get it, how to use it, how to try it out for free. Um, this is not something that every Etsy has. If you're like, what is that? I've never seen that. It's an extension that I have, and I'll talk about that a little bit later, but it is super awesome. And I wanted to show you one more thing in this extension because I use this a lot too. So, okay, we're going to be looking at this um, digital planner to get some ideas for our own listing, for some things we want to add into our own um, design. But not only that, Look at this. This is every keyword that she put into her Etsy listing. You can copy this and you can put it into your own Etsy listing. Um, you just copy all, copy and paste right into my Etsy listing. Success, <laughs> thank you. Um, so that is something else really cool that Everbee has. Okay, so anyways, let's click through some of these photos that she has. So here's our main photo. We've got two of the um, pages of this digital planner. 
then we've got some information, we've got some themes, okay? She's going into a little more detail. She's kind of blowing up, magnifying parts so that you can see what's going on. She's explaining each page, giving you um, what it looks like in real time. Okay, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of information here. If you want to sell as well as this one, you're going to want to put a lot of information onto your homepage or onto your listing. I'm sorry. Um, there's a lot here. She's got a lot in this package. She has detailed it all in the listing. That's great. All right. So I actually um, kind of already looked at hers and started my own. Where is it? Okay. So I set up a template myself. Um, I've got it sized correctly. You can see here my file size is 2500 by 2000 pixels. Okay. And I've got just some basic stuff going here. You would need to continue on to get all of the pages, but let me show you how I've just got this stuff in here to begin with. One thing that is so important when you are listing on Etsy, in fact, let me go back into her listing and I'll show you that she's done it too, is you have to have a color theme and not just per listing, for your entire shop. Pick brand colors and stick with them. If you know anything about Crystal's Crafties, you know my brand colors are pink and blue. You know, here's some of my listings, pink and blue. It is what I've done from day one. I have not ventured away from it because once people start to recognize your brand and your colors, they can automatically recognize your listings and your products because you've used the same brand colors, you use the same brand fonts and the same brand feel. You need to do that. Let me show you in hers. Let's see here. So I'm just going to come into her shop, not just this listing, but her entire shop. Okay, you can see this color. That's what she had in the listing, this background. Let's look at all of these. Look at the same feel she has. She's got the same colors. She's got these same little boxes and info circles on the front page of her listings. She's got a theme going on and it's working for her. Obviously, let's analyze this shop using Everbee. So just looking at these listings here, here's her average monthly revenue for that's the one we looked at. That was 4,000. Holy smokes, guys, what? $25,000 off of this one? What is this business? <laughs> this is crazy. I don't think I analyzed her shop earlier. Anyways, so she's, she's got a thing going on here and you wanna have a thing going on too. So pick some brand colors. Um, these are not my brand colors exactly, but I just used it for the purposes of this video. So you've got your page set up. You will come and just click on your page. Let me, um, if I start a new page, it's gonna have that same color because that's what Canva does for you. Once you pick a color, it helps you out with that. Um, can, it helps you out with that consistency. But anyway, you've got a blank page here. You come up to this and you can pick from colors that are already in your document. You can pick from basic colors. You can pick from gradients. You can customize a color. Let's say I wanna pick this blue, but that's not quite the blue that I want. I wanna customize it. So you'll come up here and find this one with a plus on it. And now you can move this guy all around. You can customize it however you want. If you know the color code, you can type it in there. You've got a color picker. If there's something else you have that you want to make the exact same color, you just bring it in to your design, use the color picker. You can pick any color you want. Once you get your brand colors picked, they will show up in your brand kit, um, or you can add them to your brand kit if you have um, Canva Pro. Let me hop over to that just really quick. This is only for Canva Pro. You can set up a brand kit. It will have all of the logos that you use. It will have your brand colors. 
it will have the fonts that you use. Let me show it to you on the main page here. This is where you set it up. Here is my brand kit. These are the um, watermarks or um, logos that I use. So they're all in my brand kit. I can access them easily. Here is my website. I can access that easily. Here are my brand colors. I can edit, I can add. These are the fonts that I use the most um, for my titles and my subheadings. So it's all in here so that when I'm in my listing, I can quickly get to any of the things I use frequently and add them to my design. Okay. Okay, so we've got our background color picked. Let me get rid of that page because that was not the color that we chose. Now we need to pick the color for um, our, our second color. You know, we've, we don't want just a background and some pictures. We want to have a little information because this lady had a little information on her page. Okay. So for this one, I chose just a softer pink. Um, you can bring in these elements. Let me add a new page here. You can come to elements and you can grab a shape and you can make it whatever size you want. We're going to change its color. This was the pink I used. I wanted to add a little bit of a border to it. So I selected a small border weight and I wanted to round its corners a little bit. So I rounded out the corners and this was what I got, right? Now you want to add some text. So you just click on your design, type a T, it's going to bring up a text box and you add some text. Okay. You can come up here. You can change the font. Um, again, brand kit fonts are going to show up in here. You can quickly access them. Anything you have recently used is going to show up here. Anything that is currently in your document will show up here. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, put that in the box, center it up. Okay, so that's how you're going to add these elements to your design. Um, I do not create digital planners, um, but I did want to make this tutorial using them because I know that is a big, big thing right now. And if you actually are creating digital planners, um, this would be helpful for you. So I got all of these little uh, templates that I could use to show you guys. Check this out. I got them from Creative Fabrica. I just typed in digital planner and it came up with like all of these that you could actually just download. So that's what I did. I'm not even sure. I just picked one. Like there's so many on here. I don't know. I'm not seeing the one I picked, but um, look at this. This is crazy how many there are. Oh, I picked one that was made specifically for Canva. But anyway, you can see there's a lot of those. Um, so if you're wanting to get some ideas on selling digital planners, come check these out. There's a lot of templates here that you can, again, learn from, look at what do they have? How did they set up each page? How does it work? Come and grab these. If you have a subscription to Creative Fabrica, you can get as many of these as you want for free. Um, you can try out a subscription, get your first 10 downloads for free. Uh, that's another way you could hop on here and try some of these out. I'm going to link to that. But anyways, so I just uploaded those into here and I started putting them in and started kind of emulating what I saw here on her page. Again, we are not going to copy someone else's listing we're going to use it as a guide and go from there. Our listings are our listings. We're going to use our own designs. We're going to use our own elements. We're going to use our own creativity. We just need a guide. We need a base. What's working? What's selling? Let me start with that and, and add on to it. Okay. Um, how I got these little planners in here. Uh, let's come back up to elements.
elements and I did tablet frame and they actually have frames you just stick that guy in here and then I can take any page of this I want and move it into the frame isn't that awesome so that's what I did I just took two frames I stuck them up there I took the square elements just like we did here added some text gave it a border rounded the corners um, I wanted to add these little hearts so I just came up here and I put art and I came into graphics and I picked ones that I liked like I mean it's really just that easy you size your document again we are sizing to 2500 by 2000 pixels because that is what these are. That's the size of this listing. You need it to, when it shows up on the search page in Etsy, you want yours to be sized correctly. You don't want it to be too zoomed in or zoomed out. Um, you want it to be the right size. So that's what we've got going on here. Then we chose brand colors. Um, we added some elements. We're going to continue adding more and more and more detail. Um, and then it's time to share. When you've got every page in here that you want, you just come to share, download, and then you can choose if you want this to be a JPG, PNG, PDF. PNG is usually the best way to go. Um, you're going to download all of the pages of it to your computer. It's going to save to a zip file. You can unzip it and upload it to your Etsy listing. Then you can hop back over to Etsy and you can get the Everbee extension and you can go and snag these. Um, let's let it work again. You can go and snag all these keywords put your titles in and go on from there. Okay guys, if you are interested in Everbee, I will leave a link down in the description. You can try it out for free. Um, if you're interested in Canva, I will leave a link down in the description. You can try that out for free as well. And that's it, that's all I've got for you. We'll see you next time.